every single one of us are ancestors to the future. Every one of us. I'm present to all the gifts that I get to have, including the fact that I'm a woman up here wearing pants. I'm so grateful to the women who came before me who risked their lives for me to have the right to wear pants. Whoa, you know, right? Like, we think about civil rights, we think about the, the right to vote, but like literally something as simple as the fact that I can be up here in my yoga pants in front of all of you came from women who came before me who, who clearly chose that women have the right, the divine right to define ourselves and how we dress through our own definition, not definition put on us by others. And they sacrificed for me to have this right. And when I get present to all those gifts of those who came before me, that's when I got present to every one of us are ancestors of the future. Spiritual activation is an invitation to look at our life as an ongoing legacy and ask ourselves, what do I want my legacy to be? My life will be that legacy. And that, for me, is such a beautiful and powerful place to live because it's such a bigger invitation than just my mind could ever make up or come up with. Time check. Okay. <laughs> Spiritual activation, yes. Yoga gives us so many gifts in the practice. It gives us the gift of finding freedom and peace and balance in positions of vulnerability. It gives us the gift of freedom, peace, and balance in the position of tension. It gives us the gift of being present to the breath because when the practice is really hard, getting present to that breath gives us the avenue to move through it. I had an instructor once, a yoga instructor, who reminded me, I was like really doing the poses hardcore, right? Because I didn't want to look bad in front of everybody else. I do that sometimes too. And my yoga instructor realized I was like, <laughs> like I was doing the pose, but I was so not connected to the breath. And she came up to me and she said, you're doing a really interesting practice, but you're not doing yoga. <laughs> Just so you're clear, Julia, yoga means union. Yoga means how things are connected. And if you're not connected to your breath, you might be having a really great workout session, but you're not practicing yoga. <laughs> all right. So all of these tools, these mindfulness tools we get in yoga really can make a difference for us as we look at spiritually activating ourselves moment by moment, day by day in the world, partly because it is way safer to have this conversation in here and to think about how to apply that conversation in here than it is to then take it out into the rest of the world, right? And so yoga gives us the body wisdom that we can tap into when we're being confronted in the rest of our lives because we know sooner or later we're going to hit some confrontation. And so the yoga gives us gifts, like when we hit confrontation, don't run from it, don't plow through it, but rather breathe into it and see what opens up for ourselves. All of these gifts that yoga gives us in here, on the mat, in our classes, gives us tools for spiritually activating ourselves moment by moment, day by day, throughout our lives, with our love or our partner, with our families, with our community members, with the world, with everything that's going on right now. How many of us, when we read the news right now, get really upset? A few of us, okay, yeah. It's hard not to, because this world that we care about is under a huge assault right now, and it's hard not to reach huge walls of grief and frustration and rage. Like, I feel all of it, all of it. These gifts that yoga gives us, this embodied awareness it gives us is how to hit that confrontational edge and instead of having it shut us down or run away and go la 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 la, it gives us the tools to be like, I'm going to breathe into that sadness. I'm going to breathe into that frustration. I'm going to breathe into the apathy that comes from when we feel overwhelmed, we can shut down and become apathetic. This embodied awareness allows us to breathe into it and say, well, what's possible for me in this moment to be alive and present in the midst of and in the face of so much that's hurting in our world? When we look at any issue in the world, the oil spilling out in the Gulf right now, the activists bringing aid into Gaza who got shot. So many of our communities getting locked up, so many of our community members being locked up in prison. 
genetic modification of food, nuclear proliferation, war, whatever issue we pick, what we're actually looking at is a symptom of a disease. We're not looking at the disease itself. We're looking at the way that symptom, that disease manifests as a symptom in the world. And I got this aha while I was living in Luna because at first I thought I was up there just for the redwoods. But there was this one day I had a solar powered phone in the tree. So there was this one day I was on my solar powered phone and I was talking to other activists and we were planning an action. And oftentimes what happens is we have different ideas of the appropriate way to do an action and what's going to be strategically right and messaging and all of that stuff. And because we're a diverse community, imagine that. We have some differing ideas sometimes. And this one day that we were having this conversation, all of a sudden it became very heated and people started talking down to one another, being rude to one another, yelling over one another. And I started crying. I just couldn't believe the way we were treating one another. And after I hung up the, from the phone, I climbed around on Luna and I was just sobbing because I felt so horrible at, at how, how awful we were treating one another trying to save some trees. And as I was climbing around in Luna, I could see for miles. And I could see beautiful forests, but I could also see massive, burnt, desecrated clear cuts. They go into ancient forests, they cut them all down. They sometimes leave a couple trees standing so that they don't have to call it a clear cut. Then they light it on fire with diesel fuel or napalm. So we're talking about a beautiful lush forest that when they're done, it's dead. There's nothing left. And so I'm looking at the forest, I'm looking at these dead zones, and I heard and realized that in that conversation, what had happened was our words had become chainsaws. And I realized in that moment, how in the world do we think we can be effective at stopping the clear cutting on the earth if we're so effective at clear cutting one another? I realized in that moment that the outer wounds on the inner, outer landscape were the mirror to the inner wounds in the inner landscape. That they would not exist in the world if they didn't exist within us first. And that was such an epiphany moment for me. It was such an aha, because I realized in that moment that yes, I was there for trees, but I was also there about healing the disease of disconnect. That that is the disease that manifests its symptoms everywhere. That if we are disconnected from the earth, we can destroy it and not realize that we are destroying our very own selves and the future children who rely upon our choices for the world they inherit. If we are disconnected from people, we can drop bombs on them and call them a statistic, excuse me, statistic, I can barely say that, or we, and not feel them as human beings, or we can, we can be disconnected even, like I was saying earlier, like from all the people who are making the miracle of this space happen for us this weekend, something even minor like that, but it's really a big sign of how we've all gotten disconnected, of how unless we're mindful, that disease shows up in our life over and over and over again. So spiritual activation, the opportunity of yoga is the opportunity of looking at healing the disease of disconnect through the connected consciousness of oneness. Every moment, every day. What would that look like for us? What would it look like to take our, look at ourselves as holistic health practitioners? 